It depends. Leave hypotheticals in the subreddit, guys. And I'll give an answer. Usually it's a defense. Oh, look at the whittle baby, Tom. <coughs> Cringe photo taken on the first day. Yes, this is when I thought I had to wear a coat and tie every day to work. And I never do that anymore. He doesn't look like an inch over five foot six. I'm six foot one. Getting caught in dad's office at home. That is a standing desk. It is tall. I'm not whittle. Whittle itty bitty baby. If I wanted to sue attorney Tom, let's say attorney Tom accidentally roundhouse kicked me in the face, resulting in grievous bodily harm, and I sued him. Would it be legal for me to hire attorney Tom as my catastrophic personal injury lawyer? This is not an it depends. No. You could not hire me. It would be a conflict of interest on my part. I'm not going to represent myself against myself. Bad attorney Tom bot. Bad attorney Tom bot. Not it depends. So let's say someone got drunk, drove, and a sober person hit the drunk person. Would the drunk person have the right to sue for injuries and damages? So in theory, yes. If you were driving drunk, but you didn't do anything wrong, and the sober person is the one who was negligent and hit you, you could very well sue for damages now. That's in theory. In the real world, what's going to happen is even if the drunk person was totally in the right and not doing anything wrong other than being drunk and driving, don't do that. The sober person is going to say, yeah, but he was drunk. So that's why the accident happened. But in theory, if you could overcome that hurdle, yeah. Double Jeopardy. Dear Colonel Tom, hypothetical question. If a friend who was tried for murder of an individual, he was found guilty and sentenced to a specific quantity of time. He insists he is innocent, but serves the full length of his sentence. After his release, the individual who was claimed to be murdered by my friend turns up still alive. If his sentence was complete and the person cannot be tried again for murder, the crime under Double Jeopardy, can my friend legally correct the timeline? No. This is the plot of a movie. I think the movie's called Double Jeopardy. These would be two separate instances. Even though he got convicted and tried of murder, and that was not correct, when he actually commits murder, it would be a separate action, right? There is a difference between shooting somebody today and shooting somebody five years from now or 10 years from now. Even if you're shooting the same person, and even if you were convicted of shooting that person. A photo I took of a statue in Norway. Oh. <laughs> Don't drop kick babies. I never said it was okay to drop kick babies. I love how there's a flare just for drop kicking babies. Don't do that. Could two people donate charity to each other and get infinite tax write offs? So I'm not a tax attorney, but remember, if charitable funds are used inappropriately, like for non-charitable instances, like to pay for your personal stuff, that's fraud. So if two people are donating to each other and they're just using it as their personal piggy bank, the tax write-off is part of just a huge fraud scheme. So no, don't do that. What is the least you can do to be held in contempt of court? Could you technically be held in contempt of court if you got stuck in traffic and weren't able to make it to court until hours after you were supposed to be there? Yes. Or do you just have to intentionally do something that obstructs the otherwise civil proceedings of the trial? No, you can be held in contempt for whatever the judge decides to hold you in contempt for. Being late, your phone vibrating, you speaking out of turn, you speaking with an incorrect tone, wearing an ugly suit. Judges have a lot of power to hold you in contempt. Self-defense after annoying someone. If you annoy someone until they threaten to and are about to cause grievous bodily harm and you use self-defense, such as a punch or a kick or something reasonable, is it still considered self-defense? So it's going to depend. Generally, there is a doctrine called the clean hands doctrine, meaning you cannot invoke self-defense if you do not have clean hands. Meaning, if you caused the situation and then claim self-defense, you cannot say it was self-defense because you are the one who started the situation in the first place. Now, now there is a degree to reasonableness to this. Meaning, if you annoy someone thinking they might just get mad at you, yell at you, ha ha ha, it's going to be a good laugh, and they retaliate with an unnecessary response, such as 
you annoy them, and now they're trying to hurt you, well, you can still claim clean hands because their response to your initial provocation was unreasonable. See how it always depends? It always depends. Me and the boys after graduating law school, you know the rules, and so do I. That is hilarious. Boom, 100. <laughs> this sums it up well. Rules saying no stupid questions. This subreddit, this subreddit, <laughs> this subreddit. We are a very intelligent bunch on the r slash attorney Tom subreddit. We are very sophisticated. We like to talk about hard hitting legal issues. This is the pinnacle of the legal community on the internet. Big brain stuff. <laughs> Tom, when answering questions, proper answer, it depends. Attorney Tom, what if the proper answer is it depends? Tom, after being called five foot six, I'm six one. Tom claims to stand at 73 inches tall. I took a sample of his foot and determined that seven of his feet is congruent to Tom in terms of height, meaning seven of his feet are 73 inches long. If we divide 73 by seven, we get 10.4. According to infinityshoes.com, a shoe is roughly 10.4 inches in length to a 9.5 US men's shoe size. Therefore, debunking Tom's true shoe size. First of all, I'm clearly not standing up completely straight there. Second of all, same shoe, same shoe. Oh no, <laughs> okay. The tag is completely worn down. So that's not good. Perpetuating the conspiracy. Let's hope that this shoe has a tag. Okay, this tag, you can see it. Yeah. 13. I told y'all, I either wear a size 13 or 14 depending on the shoe. Illuminati confirmed. Can I be sued for shutting off my tenant's utilities? So it's going to depend. It can depend on your state, but almost certainly yes. Your tenants have a right to habitability. And by shutting off their utilities, even if they're not paying, you are obstructing those rights. Again, it's going to depend on the state you're in and the exact circumstances, like what kind of tenant they are, what kind of lease they signed. But yeah, probably you can get sued. Can I sue my cat for assault? No, I'm representing the cat. We're suing you for assault. That was clearly self-defense. <laughs> yes. Does your degree have to be ABA accredited? So technically no, but it makes your life a whole lot harder if you do not go to an ABA accredited law school. Go to an ABA accredited law school. It is a very big deal. Can I burn down my house legally if I don't do it for insurance fraud reasons? Let's say I want to do renovations by burning my home and starting a new one. It's not like I'm burning someone else's house down, just my own to renovate. So that is still going to be illegal because public policy, we do not want people taking these kind of matters into their own hands. You might try to burn down your house and accidentally burn down the entire neighborhood. You're going to need to have permits. You're going to need to do it the correct way, probably just by demolition. And you're probably going to need to hire professionals. So even though you're not doing it for insurance fraud reasons, doesn't mean it is legal. Life hack. Doctor, you have one day to live. Kills the doctor. Judge gives me 30 years. Me. <laughs> You can die in prison. And also, it's going to take you longer than one day to be sentenced. So the fact that you're even getting to the sentencing part probably means something. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. It does me a big favor. And consider subscribing to this channel. I think we just passed 356,000 subscribers. All right, y'all, talk to you later. Bye.